There are plenty of bad drivers on our roads and they have some really annoying habits. Some habits are so dangerous that they could result in a collision. So in this video, we will show our eight most hated driving habits and how to avoid doing them ourselves. There are many other annoying things that other drivers do. So if we haven't mentioned your most hated habit in this video, please tell us in the comments section below. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And if you find this video interesting, please click the like button as it really helps other people find us. A good driver will vary their speed depending on the number of hazards nearby, so it's fine to drive slowly when danger is present. However, driving unnecessarily slowly on a wide and safe road will frustrate following drivers, which could result in them trying to overtake in an unsuitable place. To prevent this dangerous situation from developing, we must strike a balance between driving too fast and too slow. When we can see plenty of clear road ahead, we should drive confidently and make progress, but it's fine to slow right down when we spot a hazard or the amount of clear road we can see reduces. If we find someone driving too slowly, we must resist the temptation to drive too close behind them. This is called tailgating and is very dangerous. One issue is that the driver in front may feel pressured by the tailgater and get anxious. This distraction might lead to driving mistakes or the temptation to speed up in an attempt to get away from the tailgater. If an incident happens ahead and the front driver needs to brake sharply, the tailgater has less time to react and could hit the front car. If you are in the front car, try to stay calm and ensure you brake as smoothly as possible to reduce the danger from behind. There is no point speeding up as the tailgater will probably speed up as well. If necessary, you could pull over to allow the tailgater to pass and then resume your journey in peace. When we are following another car, we always keep at least two seconds behind the vehicle in front to ensure we have time to react in an emergency. Then our journey will be more relaxing and we might even get fewer stone chips on the front of our car. Driving in the wrong lane on dual carriageways or motorways will prevent following traffic from overtaking and cause tailbacks. This will frustrate other drivers, tempting them to do something dangerous like tailgating or undertaking. Passing on the left or undertaking isn't specifically illegal, but we don't recommend it as it could put us in danger if the car being passed moves to their left suddenly. The highway code says that we should drive in the left lane unless overtaking and a driver hogging the middle or outer lane is committing an offence and could be fined £100 and given three penalty points on their driving licence. To avoid this, we should complete any overtake promptly and then move back to the left lane afterwards. Even when travelling at the speed limit of 70 miles per hour, we never block drivers that want to go faster, as it would only lead to danger. Instead, we prefer to cruise in the left lane at our speed, with no need to worry about any drivers close behind us. Steering across both lanes at a roundabout is lazy, and will prevent other drivers from understanding where you are going. In busy areas, it will even obstruct other vehicles, which will reduce the flow of traffic. Even worse, if we use the wrong lane for example, the left lane to turn right, we will mislead other drivers who might think we're leaving the roundabout at a different exit. They might try to enter the roundabout and collide with us. To avoid this danger, we must use the correct lane at roundabouts and steer precisely to stay in our lane. Other traffic will then understand where we are going 
reducing the chances of any dangerous misunderstandings. Drivers that are too lazy to use their indicators properly are not only annoying, but potentially dangerous. The Highway Code says that we should indicate whenever someone else could benefit, but many drivers can't be bothered to indicate even when other road users are present. They often fail to indicate when using a roundabout, leaving everyone guessing where they are going. Sometimes they don't indicate when turning into a side road, which is annoying if you are waiting for an opportunity to join the main road. To avoid causing this problem, we should use our indicators carefully so that other drivers understand what we intend to do and can take advantage when we are turning into the road they are leaving. Braking suddenly should only be done if it is needed in an emergency, such as a child or pet running into the road. It should be avoided at all other times, as it could easily surprise the following driver and result in a collision. For this reason, we should never be tempted to try and scare a tailgater by braking suddenly, as they might hit you, which is the very thing you were worried they might do. Some drivers deliberately do this to cause a crash so they can claim on the other driver's insurance. This is called crash for cash fraud. Causing an accident by braking suddenly for no reason is an offence and could result in penalty points on your licence, an unlimited fine or even a prison sentence. To avoid being caught out by this scam, we should always stay at least two seconds behind the vehicle in front and be ready to react if they break suddenly. Drivers that park on pavements and block pedestrians and wheelchair users are inconsiderate. If the person then has to enter the road to get around the car, they could be in danger, especially if they are blind. Parking on the pavement isn't actually illegal outside of London, but it might be soon. Another example of poor parking is when drivers park at or near junctions and turn on their hazard lights as if that makes it okay. The Highway Code states that we should not park within 10 metres of a junction as it will block the view of drivers and also make it very difficult for larger vehicles to turn. To avoid causing these problems, we should always find a safe and legal place to park away from pavements, junctions, bus stops or anything else that might cause a problem. If we misuse our car's lights, we could intimidate, confuse, mislead or even dazzle other drivers. Earlier, we showed a tailgater flashing their car's main beam headlamps. This would add to the distraction already caused by their tailgating. Some drivers flash each other at junctions in an attempt to communicate with others. You might even be tempted to flash hello at someone you know passing the other way. The Highway Code states that we only flash our headlamps when we need to make others aware of our presence, so using them in any other situation could lead to danger. We should also be careful to dip our main beam before we meet oncoming traffic at night, so we don't momentarily blind the other driver, which could put us in danger of a collision. Another car light that is often misused is fog lamps. They should only be used when visibility is reduced to less than 100 metres, but many drivers turn on their fog lamps at other times. This could dazzle other drivers, which might mean other lights like indicators or brake lights are not spotted as easily. Therefore, we must consider how to use our car's lights in the safest and most considerate way to avoid confusion or danger. We have shown eight examples of poor driving, but there are many more. 
Not every example we have shown is actually against the law, but they could all cause frustration and possibly even danger. To avoid all this, we try to drive as considerately as possible and help other drivers whenever we can. If we spot other drivers causing problems, we take our time, stay calm, and remember that a short delay isn't really a big problem. If you found this video interesting then please visit our channel as there are over 150 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.